Good morning. I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you. Going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. Got a lot to talk about on today's program, so I think I'm going to get straight to it. Going to be uh, visiting some time, uh, spending some time with Darren Weeks. He's founder of the Fast Track Group and uh, author of uh, of a brand new book, in fact, on uh, how to uh, capitalize your business called The Art of Raising Capital. And uh, delighted to have you on the program, Darren. Welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. Delighted to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and your book. Well, um, you know, when I was six years old, I decided I wanted to be rich. I'm not sure why, because, you know, my family and my friends and society said I'd just go to school and, you know, one day get a good job. But for some reason, I just really liked money. So I did all kinds of unique things when I was a kid, whether it was buying mutual funds in grade six or buying silver at high school or buying my first property when I took uh, my business degree back in 1990. So I was just always fascinated with money. And I came across a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I got to know the author, Robert Kiyosaki, very well. And he's the one that actually titled my book and told me to get my button gear and write the book. So it's called The Art of Raising Capital. Because what I found is most entrepreneurs run out of money or don't have any money, even though they've got a great business idea, they've got a lot of drive, but they just don't know where to get the money to start their business or to expand it. So that's really the, the, the background of the book. Yeah, it's fascinating. By the way, uh, Robert's been a guest on my show several times over the years. In fact, was just on, I think, last month or two weeks ago, according to my producer, and uh, asking to be back on again. He's a good friend of um, our media, and I'm a big advocate of what he of, of what he advocates because it's it's very contrarian. In fact, the longer you stay in school, uh, in many respects, uh, the less likely you will ever become truly wealthy. I couldn't agree more. I mean, I keep this argument all the time goes on with people, and actually, my sisters. Young, sorry, my wife's younger sister lives with us on the weekends. She's going to school here in Edmonton, and I keep really telling her to quit, and she looks at me like I'm kind of crazy, but the more she hangs out with me and reads these books, she realizes all she's doing in university is getting in debt, and her future is a job, and that's not really a bright future in my opinion. So you know, there's lots of arguments about education. What Robert and I talk about all the time and believe in is financial education. So get your professional designation, but what are you doing to study your financial education as well? I think that's important. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, the reality is is that uh, most uh, truly successful people would never trade time for money, but virtually all education is based on doing that. It is a different system, isn't it? But, yeah. you know, people that are in that system, they like the security of the paychecks, the prestige of, you know, being a professor with tenure, et cetera. And it just is our belief systems in, in the world for some reason. And that's what we're doing is just changing it, giving people a different perspective. doesn't mean we're right, but at least a different perspective. And money is in every, you know, fabric of our society, yet we hardly ever talk about it or study it. So it does seem to be a little bit backwards, in my opinion. Yeah, it does. And, you know, these professors, I mean, if there's anything that's more true, it's in the financial front where, they, where it comes to those who can do, those who can't teach. And uh, most of these professors, if you saw how much they made and how much of debt they'll have for how many years, it's extraordinary to think that you would sit at their foot, feet uh, to learn um, business from them. You know, I'll never forget, and I'm getting up there, I'm 47 now, but back in, you know, the early <laughs> You're a young and buddy, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my professor was a chartered accountant, like a CPA, and he made $60,000. I was just shocked. I thought, you only make $60,000? Like, I, I was just so shocked. And I never wanted to make $60,000. I wanted to do something where I could make millions of dollars. So, again, it's just I thought differently. And the Rich Dad book and Robert really allowed me to think bigger. And that's, I think part of the problem is if you don't hang around with people that think bigger or that have done it, really, how do you even get started? And, you know, again, that's why I wrote the book is How to Raise Capital because I did it and I started 25 years ago and I kind of share with people all the secrets and steps that I did to, to raise capital and, of course, share with you all the mistakes I made along the way. Yeah, well, I think that's fantastic. Talk about the book. Let's get into detail about that. Well, you know, again, going back to buying my first property in 1990, I'm a university student, so you can't go into the bank and ask for a loan because they're not going to give you one. So I had to raise capital and find out how the rules work to buy property. So that, you know, that was my first property, and then I bought about 12 more before I read Rich Dad Poor Dad in 2001. And at that point, I started to think bigger, and I kept, you know, learning and educating myself in finances. And I finally started to put some pieces together, and I thought, you know, there's so many people up in Canada, for instance, and the States, they're not happy with their mutual fund returns. So I thought, how could we pool these people that are just average everyday people and allow them to get into the bigger deals, like multi-million dollar apartment buildings? So I really put together a fund that allowed hundreds of people to invest in, in, a, in a larger apartment building. And in the, in the middle, I kept a little fee, basically. So I learned how to raise capital younger on, and I finally put all that together 
to do some great big deals. So now I own, you know, part of 5,000 properties. And I share with people in the book how to get started from the very beginning stages to the very end of, you know, complex deals. And they can choose, you know, whatever route they want to go to. So that's kind of the essence of the book, but it's a how-to book. It's not just theory. It's like actually step by step by step what you have to do. So are most of your uh, investments in Canada or some of them in the United States? Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, most of them are in the United States, actually. So when the economy crashed in 2008-9, um, we bought about 5,000 apartment buildings in Arizona and Texas. So we're thrilled. I mean, the values have gone up tremendously. My partner, Ken McElroy and Ross McAllister, they've done a phenomenal job. And now, I'm not sure if you know this, but uh, your, your listeners may not, but the dollar in Canada has really sunk. So the U.S. Oh, dollar yeah. is so strong, we get paid in U.S. rent. U.S. dollars. So every time we get a dollar rent now, we're actually turning that to a dollar thirty-three. So we're very, very happy um, putting the deals together. You know, five, six years ago, things have turned out very well for us. But again, I want to you know be really clear. I started with one condo back in 1990, and then I bought another condo, and then a couple more. So you know, you, you've got to start slow. Um, you know, when you first start, and I uh, just share people. You know, my 25-year journey on how to buy properties and grow businesses with other people's money. Very good. Darren Weeks, he's founder of the Fast Track Group. His website, FastTrackToCashFlow.com. FastTrackToCashFlow.com. Darren, thanks so much for being with us. And uh, I, I'm assuming we can find your book that, uh, there at FastTrackToCashFlow.com. Yeah, and all the big major uh, book sellers as well. Very good. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Kevin. All right, when we come back, we're going to have much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. Also want to mention, today's program brought to you in part by our friends at Victory Transportation Systems. We're going to have more for you right after this on The Price of Business.